Hey everybody, it's Mark from Northeast Bass Fishing, we're back again. Um, another company that, uh, you know, got to know through Tech Baits is Game on Baits. And Brett is the owner of this company. He's out in Texas and um, for Black Friday, got a few orders. Got a few goodies that came. Here's what, there's the box right there. There you go. Game on Baits. Camp Boy, Texas. I've never been there, Brent. I hope it's nice. <laughs> but, um, you know, this is another custom bait maker. And um, I got to know Brett through Tech Baits. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's like I've said in the, other, the last video on Riverwise. Uh, it's a really great community. You get to, you know, meet a lot of people that are making baits at their homes and, and putting them out there. And I uh, figured I'd show them to you. Now, I will say one thing. <laughs> if you think the Tech Baits video had a lot of salt, take a look at that. You probably hear that. <laughs> so, I, I put a few paper towels down. I'm going to try to not spill this salt all over the table. Um, and I love garlic in baits. And Brett has spared no expense because these smell even in the pack. So, when you get your box from them, from him, uh, you'll smell the garlic. So if, if you know if you like that in your baits, that I happen to like garlic. Um, so let me just show you uh, show you some of the baits that he sent. I like most orders. <coughs> we kind of talk about it. And he shows a picture of a cool bait, and I go, "Oh, I want one of those." And he shows another cool one. You know, a week later, I want one of those. And my order that you know could have been filled probably in the, uh, five days or two days is takes three weeks because I keep adding stuff to it. But I got some of his Ned Craws. I got some of what he considers a drop shot bait. To me, it's like a more of a finesse bait, but it's definitely, a, you could use it, consider it a drop shot. I'm going to use it more as a Ned type bait. And I got some of his swim bait. So I'm just going to dive in and I'll show you them. Uh, I don't know what's laying on top here. I think these are the finesse worm slash drop shot baits. And I think he might have thrown me a couple of goodies in here just to show off. But um, I saw this worm. And let me show you. There's, there's Brett's, um, you know, logo right there game on baits and um, you can order them right through Instagram and I'll, I'll I'll show you show you his page on my phone before we go it doesn't have a website right now but this is a nice finesse for me I'm not gonna remember any of these colors we'll be able to maybe tell just by looking I think this is just a black blue but to me that's a nice finesse worm and the minute I saw it I thought of using it as a Ned rig um, but you, you know you can see all the salt on there I like that flappy tail. So I'll just probe that, you know, use my Ned hook because you, yeah, you know your Ned's going to only come up to about that part of it. And you'll have a lot of action for you. So when I thought of these, I thought of, of Ned rigging, but I'm sure I'll try them as drop shots too. But if you say you want his, uh, you know, that bait, just call it a drop shot. Bait. I call it a finesse worm, Ned worm, whatever. And like I said, I'm not going to know the colors of these. But take a look at those. He put those up one night and I said, I got to get them. That is really cool. So you can call that whatever you want. I just call it cool. <laughs> put that red flake in there. That's really neat. So, you know, you guys can picture just putting that on a Ned and throwing it. It'll look pretty neat. And the other one of this I got is this one, which I saw in putting together there one night look pretty neat. You guys, you can see all that salt in there. And man, they smell. So, if you don't mind your house smelling like a pizza place, but most bass are Italian, so they do like the garlic. But that's kind of like a, I don't know, that's like a red, <coughs> or like a pumpkin. And the dogs are gonna bark the minute I start doing this. <coughs> Gabby. That's my dog, Gabby. She loves to bark when I film. There you go. She likes game. She likes game on bites too. Let's see what else. That's the Ned type drop shot base I got. And I got a bunch of Ned Craws. And like I said, I think Brett may have thrown me in a few extra goodies here. He did throw me in. Let me show you the other. He threw me in. Here's another pack of like a finesse worm. And I know I didn't order these, so I appreciate you, Brett, sending me these because right? you know I like finesse worms. A, 
nice light colored finesse worm. Like I said, if you if you decide you want to get some of these and you go on Brett's uh, Instagram page and say, hey, that, that finesse worm, that, that like, <laughs> like pearl type pinkish uh, finesse worm that you saw Mark pull, if that's the one you want, just tell him. I'm sure he'll know what he means. He'll know better than I do. He may have names for all these colors, and if you look on his Instagram page, you'll probably see what he calls them. I'm never going to remember. Oh, he also makes a Senka type eight. Well, it's just kind of like a watermelon gold or watermelon red. I don't remember getting these. Okay, thanks, buddy. I'll give them a try. You guys who like throwing Senkos, man, they smell. Woo! I have to get a calzone tonight or something. But that's pretty cool. Nice color, lots of salt. Throw that however you wacky, wacky rig down, however you like to throw your Senkos. I just kind of throw them almost like a twitch bait, like a fluke. Um, let's see. I think that's all the different things here. Now there are one, two, three, four, two, four, six, seven bags, and I thought I ordered five, so I think Brett gave me a few, a few goodies extra here. Now this is a, this is the first bait that I saw him show pictures of. I said I gotta try those, and you know I like throwing Neds. We talk about it a lot, but I like throwing Ned Cross too. He makes a Ned Crawl. And he put some really cool colors out. And eventually all these guys will put colors on here for me, so I won't remember. Now this kind of looks like it might be similar to that. Um, I don't know if it's like similar to that. It could be, or maybe that, uh, maybe this guy. Maybe not the same, but similar. That's kind of like a, just like a crawfish color, that gold flake. That is really awesome. These are going to be great, you know, for, if you can hear that salt falling off. Trying not to get it all over the table. But that's really nice. So, whatever Ned head you like to use, you know. You know, put it on there. But those are his Ned Craws. Let's see, I want to mix these up. Get the salt off my hands again. Uh, there's another Ned Craw. Hold these up to the light, I can kind of get an idea what the colors look like. It's hard to tell in the pack with all the salt on them. They'll look, look the same color, they'll look white. There you go. There's another Ned Crawl color. And that looks like it might have a little blue in it. I can't really tell. But really nice. Like I said, if you're, uh, you know, this is probably one that I saw on his Instagram page that we were talking about what night, and I said, hey, throw that color in. I like it. But they're all nice. There's no color that is gonna be like one you're not gonna to wanna to use. Let's say you're, you've got some clear water, you're bed fishing, or look at that. Get that pearl color, all that flake in there, that's really nice. I'm trying to hold these over the box here, so they. <laughs> there you go, I like that one a lot. It's a nice one, Brett. Ooh, man, I smell. If you like garlic, you're in for a treat. Another bag. Ned, Ned Cross. It's got a lot of salt on it. You can hear the salt falling off this one. Look at that. That's a nice one. I don't know if you guys can hear that salt falling off. That's kind of, that might be more like that, um, that might be more like that, that drop shot bait I showed you earlier. With that red on one side and that. But like all these different hues are, are so cool. Like these aren't your traditional like baits that you can see from like, you know, the big companies. It's just all the same color, you know, same basic 15 or 20 colors. These custom dyes will just make whatever you want. So like you, you think of a combination. I mean, that's what's so cool about it. I mean, Look at that bag. Look at this little salt in the bottom there. <laughs> I think Brett used the whole, uh, I think he used this whole salt shaker on that, shaker on that one. If you don't have any salt in your house, Brett, I know where it is. This one is one I saw the one night. It was really nice. It's green. It's watermelon. That flake in there. Like a watermelon candy type, which is a color you guys know. That I like. There you go. Really nice. These are, they're all great. They're all great. These will definitely get used 
when springtime arrives. Let's see what we got here. Here's another one. I said seven bags. So I don't know how this order progressed as we go along, but <laughs> more colors are here than I think I ordered originally, which is okay. And more to come, I'm sure. See, the problem is these guys keep showing all these pictures and they, they, suck, they, they lure me in for, uh, no pun intended, for more baits that I like that I want to get. But there you go. It's another Ned Crow. More like a natural craw type color. Like I said, I don't know if these have names. Brett would know better than I do. But they all look really nice. I think I'm stocked up with Neds. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys that do a video without any Neds in there. It might be tough since I buy them so often. Different types. And this, ooh, I'm not sure what that is. It's kind of got like some purple in there. That's really nice. Like I said, I... I apologize that I don't know these colors, but they may not necessarily have a name. It might be just something that Brett made up one night, and I saw it and said, oh, let me try those. So you saw the seven colors I have? Like I said, if you want them, tell them you want number four that I showed, or three. He'll know it. He'll be able to copy it for you. And uh, the last thing in here are some swim baits. If you guys like your swim baits, how about some custom style swim baits? I don't want to release a pile of salt. I don't know if these are as salty. They've got some salt on them, but they're not like... And that is real. That's almost like that goblin color you see with us here at Tech Baits a lot. That is a nice paddle tail. And I would estimate... I don't think that's... A th that might be a four-inch. I forget. I don't know if Brett put it on... Yeah, four-inch swim baits. Yeah, these are four-inch swim baits. So you guys are like throwing the four-inch swim bait. That, I think, is what is, is, is a copy of the goblin color that we have in a lot of baits, tech baits, and Pete does at Stillman, so I think that's it. I may not, I, I might be wrong, but if not, that's pretty close. So, got a pack of those. He puts those in the plastic. This is almost like the same thing Pete puts his baits in. <laughs> I think you guys get your, your, shipping, your uh, shipping things from the same place. That's one color. I think one of these is Sexy Shad, but I don't remember. This might be the Sexy Shad one. Yeah, that's probably it, yeah. That looks very Sexy Shad-like. So there's the, the box they came in. Looks like there's four in there. And that's pretty nice, huh? So you guys like a four-inch swim bait? Custom painted? Custom made? I shouldn't say painted, but... Custom poured? There you go. Loaded with salt. So when those fishies chomp on it, they won't let it go. Nice and soft, too. It has a nice little, has that nice cavity on the bottom so we can get the hook through. Now these, you know, I haven't, obviously I haven't thrown these yet. Those are new. Um, I would probably use my, that screw-on, uh, that screw-on head that I like to use. I've shown you guys in other videos. But, uh, you know, any swim bait head you like, you know, I'm sure it's fine. Whichever one you like the best. And that's another pack of those. Close that up so it doesn't spill salt all over everything. Actually, I should do that with this one too. So that box is kind of falling apart. Oh, there you go. Put that back. Here's the other one I showed you first. And last but not least, like I said, I don't know if these have names. I apologize, but. This is more of a shad type color, I think. There you go. Here's your like shad imitation swim bait, four inch swim bait. Game on baits, there you go. Really nice, I can see, I don't know if you can see how the way the light goes through that one. I can see it here, but I don't know if it's gonna really film that well, but it's really nice. Get some of that salt off there. You should see all the salt in the bottom of this box. Bait makers are keeping the salt industry going. But that's it, guys. We got three of the swim baits, which look really nice. Um, Brett sent me a pack of his of his Senko type baits, stick baits. Um, seven packs of the uh, the, the Ned Cross, really nice looking baits. Scented with garlic. I'm sure you probably could do a crayfish or craw if you like that better. But the uh, they definitely got garlic in them, so I don't have to keep spraying them throughout the day because they've got it infused. 
That smell is infused in those baits. And I'm gonna clean the box out before I put these back in. Oh, another thing. I guess he sent me two of them. Oh, okay. Did I, show, I don't know if I showed you guys this one. That was another thing of Senko. I don't know if I showed you that. If I did, I'm gonna show it to you twice. I don't know if I, I don't think I showed you this one. It looks more like uh I'm not sure what that is. Get this salt off it. I'm doing it off camera this time, taking the salt off. <laughs> uh, looks like a, I don't know if it's like a green, like a pump, a green pumpkin maybe with some green flake in there. Nice. I don't think I showed you guys that one, but I don't even remember ordering these, Brett. <laughs> but thanks for letting me try them. There you go. I don't think I showed you guys that one. I have two bags of the, of the Senko type baits, the finesse, the drop shot baits. And that's, I think, it. I get a little mixed up here. There's the drop shot baits. So that's it. A nice haul from Brett. And, uh, you know, I've said this a ton of times. Uh, custom baits. I've got salt all over me. Um, get the colors you want, guys. I mean, it's the coolest thing. You could, you, you got an idea for a bait, and these guys can make it for you. And, and I like, you know, helping out these, uh, you know, new companies, smaller companies that are trying to, you know, get a business going, keep a business going. So that's Game on Baits. Get it and Game on Baits. There you go. There's Brett's logo again. Oh, here, let me show you. Uh, I think I have it up. Thought I had it up this page. Game on Baits. Now, I don't know. I don't think that's going to be too much glare there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that really good. Yeah, it's probably not going to really sell. But it's just Game on Baits. If you go on Brett's uh, Instagram page, just Game on Baits. Sorry if that's going to be too much of a glare for you. I don't know how to get the light to not be. <laughs> it's really a great picture, I'm sure. There's pictures of his swim baits being made and all that stuff. I know that's going to look crappy, but you guys can check it out. So on Instagram, Game on Baits. Just go on there. Tell Brett I sent you and order up. Uh, Christmas is coming. Get some uh, some fishermen, you know, some custom color baits. Uh, the Ned Crows are great. The swim baits look great. Everything looks good. Can't wait to try it out. So uh, that's it for this custom order. I think there might be a few th more things on the way. Um, and then Christmas will be here, and who knows what from that. Um, but there's always good stuff to show you guys. Uh, that's what I do in the Northeast <laughs> when the weather gets lousy. I just show off baits. Um, as far as the house goes, uh, moving in, spent uh, last weekend unloading the pod we had up there, uh, a lot of work. Um, got our dish TV set up, got some Wi-Fi at the house, had a painter there, electrician there, so things are moving along. Um, hired a guy to keep my driveway clean of snow because it did snow in New Hampshire on Saturday. Um, and we got about two or three inches and it got cold, so the driveway I have is a little steep, so it was a little tough getting back up, and I've gotta bring my Skeeter there next weekend because I have to go pick it up. It got shrink-wrapped and serviced and all that, and I've gotta get it parked in the driveway, and I can't show up Friday uh, next weekend to a driveway that's covered with ice and snow and try to get a 2,000 pound whatever boat up there with my truck, so uh, hired somebody to keep the driveway clean. Um, uh, I, I think that's it right now. Um, you know, we're just working on moving in. We still have a lot of stuff here that has to go up. I have, uh, you know, some storage units that we have to clean out. So next weekend, going up again and bringing more stuff up. So, you know, it's it's a process. Once I get up there, a lot of my fishing stuff is up there, but a lot of the stuff in the basement you guys know that I have is in the storage. So that's got to go up too. Once I get everything there and start organizing, I'll, you know, maybe do some videos on how I work, decide to organize my new basement and fishing room. Uh, we'll take it from there when that time comes. But Things are moving along, so the next two months will be a lot of uh, a lot of prep, uh, a lot of work and prep, getting everything done. But that's it for uh, Game on Baits. I encourage you guys to check them out. Brett's a nice guy. He's making some nice stuff. You know, give these you know give these uh, you know these these guys that are uh, you know out there making baits, uh, give them a chance. Try them out. You know, the prices are, are very reasonable, um, and uh, you know you're helping somebody out. You know, get going in this business, which you know. For if you're a, a tackle junkie like, like me, the more the more the merrier of these these kind of companies that are making stuff. So uh, that's it. Um, if you see any other baits, uh, you know that Brett makes, and you want me to show them off, let me know. I'm sure uh, Brett will sell them to me. <laughs> I can show them off to you. But uh, 
that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, game on base. And that's it. So I'll see you guys soon on YouTube. Mark out.